name's Denise McDonough. Um, I'm the Digital Programme Manager with Galway 2020. I've been involved in the bid phase, from the bid phase to, to now, since 2014. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a long journey. Uh, we had a bid one and a bid two, and during this process, the idea of creating a digital capital of culture started to form, and it became a strong strand within our, our application to become European Capital of Culture, and it was one of the reasons that we, we won against our other um, uh, bidding cities in Ireland. So we won the designation in 2016, um, and uh, we won the, the reason that our bid was a little bit unique was because it wasn't just a city bid, we used the whole area of Galway, so Galway city and county. And we have two different local authorities that came together and mapped out um, a plan that won us the bid. So it was more, it was joint up thinking and it was the looking at the economic, environmental and societal impacts that would have long-term legacy. So we have Galway is like a small city so we wouldn't have huge infrastructure here. So it was the idea was to actually spread that out towards the county and use the beautiful landscape that we have. Um, the, we did a lot of engagement during the process. We did speak outs, we worked with the community and it helped us kind of build what, what did our people want from here? What, um, what, what did the community would like to see our arts organizations and we, designed a model where our cultural partners, the arts organizations that already existed here, they would deliver elements of the program. So they became the essence of the program. So we're working very strongly with them. And then once Goa 2020 is finished, the legacy will be left at those organizations so that the growth will stay with them. The, um, I'll just move on a few slides there actually, if that's okay. The, we launched our program just there in September and it was very successful. We did a, a large um, outdoor event that was to capture the imagination. We had 4,500 4, people attended. I think we had uh, 11,000 uh, people watch the video on Facebook and we were kind of number one in Ireland on the day and in other countries as well. But it was just kind of, it was our first event that we also live streamed. One of the elements that we wanted to create within our, our program was that we would live stream a lot of our significant events so that we could connect with the rest of Europe because we're an island on the edge. That, that idea of being able to ha have other people engage with the program in a multitude of levels was important to us. Um, we also have our sister city is going to be Raika in Croatia. So they, um, we, we have a lot of projects that are, we're partnering with them. So one of the projects would be um, we have small towns big ideas. It's like the backbone of our project, of our program. It's like all the towns and communities they have like all their own projects that happen but in Reika they have 27 neighborhoods so there's a connection with those projects that they're 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 like parallels so they work with all the neighborhoods in their area and we have connected those projects with different um one of them is a wall building project another one is um they're they're very community based we have a lace uh, head for lace here there's a connection to lace making in Reika and um, within the program then sits the digital program. The, every project has a digital element. And then, so my job is I work with the comms team and the program team and also the wider program. And then we, we have also have, we're delivering a, a, a digital program. The idea for us is that we want to um, create, educate, reform and reskill people. We want to, digital is kind of new and innovative here, and especially within the arts. So we wanted to also work with um, our local authorities, our partners, our business partners to formulate a strategy that would work for us and that actually would have long-term legacy and benefit for Galway and the region. And um, we, we are, I'm just, this slide kind of shows the, the structure of how we work. So the cultural partners are the arts organizations then we have also co-productions. We have our opening and closing ceremony. We have, that's the small towns, big ideas that we're delivering. And then we, we have our in-house productions. And then we also have um, other partners, the other counties in Ireland, their local authorities are also going to deliver elements because it's not just a Galway designation, it's, a, it's an Ireland, it's an Irish designation. 
Um, we've split up our programme as well a little bit uniquely. It's We're kind of going on the Cagan calendar. So we're starting in February, with the 2nd of February in Bollock. Um, it's kind of rebirth to new, it's an Irish word. And then we have our programme split up. So we're not finishing our programme until January 2021. So our seasons are split up into quarters. Um, and then they're mapped with fire festivals. Um, for, I'll just talk you through some of the digital strategy and how we decided to break it up and, and deliver it. We did a lot of research and looked at different areas. We didn't want to just focus on our organisation. We wanted to bring in all of our partners and, as I said earlier, the local authorities and the businesses. So one of the, in the two years leading up to now, or the three years, we started to deliver capacity building programmes. So we, we did a lot of um, workshops, training with people, um, we did workshops with our um, Small Towns Big Ideas communication strategy with them. We did digital skills with them, just so that they were able to share and capture all of their, their projects, because it's impossible for us to capture everything. We have our own digital programme, which I'll give you a little uh, view over in a few minutes. And then we have our children and young people. We're working with our school system, our education system, and we're mapping digital courses. We're doing CPT training, so they're training courses for teachers. Um, around VR and AR, and we're doing digital skills as well. Um, we're working with our universities and the art colleges here. We're doing um, a lot of engagement in education as well. And then the digital communications, uh, we have a communications team. We're, do, we're going to be doing live streaming of some of our events. Um, we're going to try and do some 360 capture of some of our events so that we can share that online. And then we all so our Irish language is really important. So we have a strategy around how we communicate our Irish language. So all of our program is both in Irish and English. Uh, Go is a bilingual city. city. So um, you get that sense when you come here, the, uh, a dual language. Then we also have our digital partners. Some are businesses, some are institutes, some are organizations. Um, Future Landscapes was one of the capacity building programs that we did. It was an intensive four week workshop with the School of Machines in Berlin and our National University College here in Galway in UI. And it was um, 10 artists and then uh, scientists, technologists all together in a group for four, four weeks and they intensively learned different skills and then they created um, a pop up exhibition that lasted one day. But that was kind of one of our capacity builder programs, but you can see the success of that already. The artists have now started to work in new ways. They started to collaborate differently. And we just finished a two day conference with Ascension this morning on immersive empathy through homelessness. They're coming together to try and create a project on homelessness, looking using VR as a tool to create that empathy with, with, with the audience. Um, interaction is another, it's a, it's a European uh, Creative Europe uh, funded project with Rayeka and Tim Sara. It's Make a Move, in, one of the strands is Make a Move, it's an art incubator. And um, the focus with Galway was on digital skills. So artists creating digital strategies for themselves, um, how to promote themselves uh, in different platforms, and then using different skills like projection mapping, tracking, um, and also VR and AR. So I'll just talk you through a bit of the program. So um, the, the kind of goals that we want to achieve with our, our digital program um, was to bring unique new experiences within uh, digital arts. Um, try, like bringing things that people would never have seen here before in, our, in, in Goa in Ireland. Um, we want to really, we're such a nation of storytellers. We wanted to create new stories, explore new, uh, new ways that were disruptive and transformative. Um, and also the capacity building, which has informed the whole program to date. Uh, I'll just talk you through some of the projects. One of the big one, big, the biggest um, visual art commission is with a digital artist, John Gerard. He's partnering with uh, the Goa International Arts Festival. He's created a mirror pavilion. You see an image of it there. Um, it's a few slides on. Yeah, it's a few slides more. So um, we're creating this um, pavilion. 
stainless. There's three sides of it are stainless steel, and one side of it's an LED screen. Uh, John is using an AI. He's created a, a software, so the software is the artwork, and we're placing it for three months in the Clad and Go, and then it's going out to our county in the rural landscape in Derry Gimlock. But he's created these two characters, a straw character and a leaf character for the different locations. And when you interact with the screen, the AI software, he's used motion capture system to create the characters, but they change and transition throughout the day. So you see a different image every time. And the characters are steeped in kind of ritual and, and um, they're, they're seen throughout loads of different cultures. The straw character will be very familiar within pagan culture here in Ireland. And, and uh, you've seen them, you see them, at, you see it uh, even now, they have straw boys and different um, characters for events that have, like weddings, you see them at weddings here in Ireland. So it's really interesting in these work and the, the fact the software is actually the artwork is really interesting, but also it's the largest visual art commission that the Goy Arts Festival ever commissioned. So it's going to be really unique. Um, just want to skip on there. So then we have Watermick to Stan Rosengard and the environmental impact of th this project looks at the, the, the water levels and it's um, going to be an outdoor light installation with um, lasers and cloud but looks at water levels um, a lot of the projects in our program consider the environment the same as John Gerard's his project will be um, powered by uh, solar power and also by the water um, so really looking at environment and sustainability. We also have a very strong film programme where Northern Peripheries um, is going to be a project creating uh, two short films. Um, we're looking, we're doing a virtual production. So with 16 filmmakers at the closing date actually for the application is today. And they're coming to go away for next year during Easter and they're going to shoot an over two week intensive virtual production. Um, so the Screen Talent Europe are one of the partners, it's, or, or the partner on this, and it's 16 European countries are part of the network. And then we have a UNESCO City of Film in Galway, so uh, the Galway Film Centre manage that. So this, this is their big project. So then the film will be released and they're also going to do a methodology book on the process of creating it. Um, we also, this is the next slide there is one of our education projects. This is probably one of our biggest education projects. Um, it's, we're working with a lot of different partners, um, the Education Department of Ireland to deliver some of the courses. So artists are working with students and also teachers to look at all these different technologies in the classroom and then they're going to design having user tested them and then redesign a new kind of course and application for VR and AR that will be functional in the classroom. So we, the artist working on this is called Jojo Hines. Um, we just did a call for the schools. Uh, it finished on Monday and we had, I think, nearly 40 schools submitted applications. So we're selecting five schools for the pilot and we're going to network the five schools with interactive screens so that they can all communicate together. So this is kind of one strand of this project. And then we have three other strands um, in active astronomy. We're creating an app that looks at um, uh, astronomy as a subject for schools. And we're designing courses around that. The education system for our uh, 15, 14, 15 year olds has changed with science. So they have um, physics, uh, biology and chemistry and astronomy as well. So we're trying to create resources for that and we're working with Crew, who are a Belgian art, artist collective and they're designing um, an app that you can create your own solar system. So you create the model and you can 3D scan it and then you can pitch it into orbit and you can view it then in VR. Um, I'll just skip on there to the next slide. Unsung. So this, um, I'll just go back a slide there actually, if that's okay. Right, back, okay. Yeah, so this is... Um, this is a project about a place in Goa called Chum. Um, we had uh, it's the mother and baby home and Elaine Buckholz is the artist and she's going to create a light installation, like a, a journey that you walk up through. It's on this kind of hill uh, called Nakma. It's where our, it's steeped in kind of uh, myths and 
stories about Celtic stories. So she's gonna we're gonna have a light installation the whole way up and interactive with different sound. Um, I'll just skip on there then. So that's kind of some of the elements of the programme. There's a lot of digital elements within the entire programme, but then there's some projects that are very heavy digital and some just have kind of elements. They might just, it might be just a focus on, um, they might do a little bit of AOR or there might be just, um, they, they might do a podcast or something. So there's, it, there's different levels. Um, our communication uh, strategy is, as I said earlier, we're going to be delivering some of the uh, projects live streamed um, and then captured through um, like video content, 360 footage, and also then we're going to do some podcasts. If you want to skip on there, that's right. Um, and you can skip on again though. So these are some of our communications partners. So our broadcast partners, Teach Car, her, um, or TE. So TG Car would be our, the TG4 there that you see, uh, the Cahar Irish. They would be our local broadcaster, so they would deliver the programme through Irish for us, and then RTE, our national broadcaster. Then we have Atlantic um, Insights. So these are some of our partners through digital that help us deliver the programme and deliver different elements. Atlantic is a festival that's on for a month. It is um, the month of May. We... Sorry. We... Um, are partnering with them and delivering a month long, long of series events. They work they, throughout, they're not only delivering it in the city, but it's along the Atlantic coast. Um, all the different tech companies, um, we're doing some workshops in them. We're gonna have different events. We're doing like a lot of electronic music events as well with them. Um, and then there's a, a conference, a three day conference that we'll be doing. And they also do a focus on women in technology. Um, and we do a big event we're with them with that as well, where we bring in different um, women that do the, it's like an afternoon tea event and it's very popular. And then we have the PDSD there and the different universities that you can see. So just want to skip on there again. Um, so one of our other digital partners is the City Council. We have worked with the, both the city and county to develop a digital strategy. This is one of the elements that we've deli delivered with them and one of our main squares in the city there's this on it's a kiosk with a tourist um, structure we've we're re-kitting it out to be a digital kiosk you can charge your phone you'll be able to use these tablets to get information and then there's a curved wraparound screen on the side where we'll be able to sh promote Goa 2020 the events that we're doing um, but also this will be a legacy after 2020 as well, where other festivals in, in Goa will be able to use this as a service. There's also inside the structure, we'll, be, we'll have screens and do different projects inside it as well. But we're in the middle of fitting this out now at the minute. And that's me done. Yeah.